Welcome to SIGGRAPH 2023. It is a pleasure to present this year's papers from our lab. See you in Los Angeles and enjoy watching. We present Clip Face, which enables text guided editing of textured 3D morphable models. Clip Face enables manipulation of both texture and expression of a 3D face model based on given text prompts to facilitate content creation. Given a 3D morphable face model and RGB images of human faces, we generate texture maps that can then be applied to the face geometry. We then use this textured mesh as our starting point to generate a variety of textures and expressions. Finally, we also propose a method to generate temporally changing textures based on expression for a given animation sequence. We learn texture generation for 3D morphable models in a self-supervised fashion from a collection of RGB images. We use DECA to extract the distribution of 3D face shapes and expressions, as well as the camera poses from the dataset. We then mask out the background and mouth interior to generate real images for adversarial formulation. In parallel, we sample a latent code from a Gaussian distribution and pass it to our texture generator based on the StyleGen2 architecture. We then generate photorealistic images of the face using differentiable rendering. Both real and fake images are critiqued by two discriminators, which work on full image and local patches to generate high fidelity details and textures. We then perform text guided texture and expression manipulation by learning mappings in the space of our trained texture model and the expression space of the morphable model. For an initial texture map, we pass its latent code to the texture mapper to generate a texture offset, which should move the texture to match the given text prompt. To manipulate the expression, we take the mean latent code and pass it to an expression mapper to generate an expression offset. The texture and expression mappers are learned through differentiable rendering, supervised by a clip loss against the text prompt. We can additionally manipulate only texture by using a frozen expression mapper. Our approach enables generating temporally varying textures of an animated 3D face from a driving video sequence and a text prompt. Given an animation sequence with estimated expression and pose codes and an initial texture map, we first concatenate the expression and pose codes to the initial texture code to generate a corresponding input sequence. The texture mapper is shared across different timestamps to produce time-dependent texture offsets for the initial texture codes. These predicted codes are then updated with importance weights to generate the texture maps for each time step. The animation sequence is then differentiably rendered with these predicted texture maps and guided by a clip loss. We compare the texture and quality of our method to various state-of-the-art baselines. Our approach is able to generate high-quality textures for the full head region. Here, we show interpolation between different texture styles in our texture space. We also show expression manipulation side-by-side -side with the corresponding geometric deformations. We compare our method with various text-based texture manipulation methods. Our approach achieves notably higher texture quality. Finally, we show our texturing of animation sequences with the text prompt laughing. as well as the text prompt angry. We present Nersemble, a novel method for multi-view radiance field reconstruction of human heads. 
Our method re-renders photorealistic novel views of human heads in motion. Given multi-view video recordings of a person, our goal is to reconstruct a spatiotemporal radiance field from which we can re-render the sequence from arbitrary viewpoints. To learn a high-quality scene representation, we adopt the volumetric rendering formulation of NERF. For each sample along a camera ray in observed space, we transform its coordinates into canonical space using a deformation field. We use the point's canonical location to query an ensemble of multi-resolution hash encodings to get meaningful spatial features. We then fuse these features with learnable time-dependent blend weights. This enables us to decompose the scene at each time step into a unique combination of hash encodings. The blended features are then fed into two tiny MLPs that decode them into density and color values for volumetric rendering. Taken together, the deformation field facilitates modeling rough motion, such as head movements, while the hash ensemble adds fine details to the reconstructions. To train our model, we record a novel dataset with a custom-built high-end capture setup. Our 16 cameras record time-synchronized videos with a resolution of 7.1 megapixels at 73 frames per second. For our dataset, we captured 222 participants in over 4,700 sequences, amounting to more than 31 million individual frames. We ask the participants to perform a diverse set of facial expressions in order to maximize the variety of motions. More specifically, our capture script consists of nine expression sequences covering different facial muscle groups, one challenging hair sequence, four emotion sequences, 10 sentences with audio, and one longer sequence where subjects are free to perform arbitrary facial deformations and head motions. We believe that our dataset will play an important role in advancing research on high-fidelity human head reconstruction. We proceed to compare our method against state-of-the-art baselines on a held-out camera view. Our method is able to produce compelling, temporally consistent re-renderings and captures the most detail. In the following, we show more results on different subjects. We consistently reconstruct more detail in various parts of the scene. Even on a very challenging sequence with extreme expressions, our method can still faithfully capture the complex motion. Note that the instant NGP baseline is trained separately on every time step and has no notion of time, which leads to temporal inconsistencies. This causes severe flickering artifacts for the instant NGP baseline. In contrast, our method provides a smooth temporal experience. We now show comparisons of novel view synthesis for a moving trajectory. The renderings produced by our method provide consistent detail under viewpoint changes. For more complex motions that further involve topological changes, deformation-based methods produce very blurry results. In contrast, our method retains a high level of face detail even for extremely difficult and diverse expressions. Here we ablate the different components of our model. Combining instant NGP with a deformation field can produce sharp detail in rigidly moving areas of the scene, but struggles with more challenging motion. On the other hand, employing an ensemble of hash encodings can better deal with complex motions, but generally produces blurrier reconstructions. Combining both components leverages the strengths of these architectures, but still does not achieve sharp detail in some areas. By employing a warm-up phase for the deformation field, sharp detail can be reconstructed using 16 hash tables, which can be further improved by increasing the number of hash tables. Finally, we show more detailed zoom-ins to showcase the reconstruction quality of our method. We present Human RF, a dynamic neural representation that captures full body appearance of humans in motion from multi-view video inputs and enables playback from unseen viewpoints. While most recent research focuses on synthesizing short videos at resolutions of 2 megapixels or lower, 
We address the challenge of capturing long sequences while operating at 12 megapixels. Here we show spatiotemporal renderings from new viewpoints, unseen at training, of some actors from our novel dataset, our additional contribution. The previous results are trained with input shots like this. 124 training cameras are used to produce reconstructions as the one that is shown on the right. Human RF uses volume rendering to synthesize views from a neural radiance field. For a frame at time t, we first pick the according XYZ spatial feature volume and the corresponding spatiotemporal 2D feature slices. Using the outer product, those slices are lifted to 3D and summed up with the XYZ feature volume. We supervise our differentiable rendering pipeline with 2D only losses that measure the errors between the rendered and input RGB images and foreground masks. Best results are achieved by decomposing the sequence into multiple segments, with each segment representing only a small number of frames that is chosen adaptively. In the example above, four frames with indices 7 to 10 are captured by one segment. To achieve high fidelity, we captured a new dataset called Actors HQ, which has eight times the resolution of other publicly available datasets. It contains over 40,000 frames for eight actors, and for each actor we provide sequences with different levels of challenging motion. The multi-view setup uses 160 calibrated 12 megapixel cameras and a ground truth mesh reconstruction is available per frame. We compare human RF with various baselines using per frame metrics like LPIPs as well as the video consistency score VMAF. We present 3D Shape to VexSet, a 3D shape representation for neural fields and generative diffusion models. Our method has two stages. The first stage is a shape autoencoding framework for 3D neural fields. The second stage is a denoising diffusion probabilistic model trained in latent space. The diffusion contains a diffusion process and a denoising process. How we represent 3D shapes is a key design choice for neural fields. The simplest method is using a global latent to describe a shape. This kind of method often leads to a low quality shape reconstruction. Popular current methods define latents on a regular grid. However, the method does not scale well to larger grid sizes. Recently, irregular latent grid-based methods can achieve very high reconstruction accuracy. Our shape representation is a set of latent vectors. All spatial information is encoded by a neural network and not explicitly designed by a human. This yields significant improvements in reconstruction performance and representation size. Here, we visualize our shape autoencoding network. Given a shape, we first sample a point cloud on the surface. The points are then mapped to positional embeddings. We use a cross-attention module to encode the input as an initial set of latent vectors. This set of latents is further processed by a KL block and a series of self-attention blocks. To reconstruct a neural field, we use query points encoded using positional embeddings. We cross-attend the query points with the set of latent vectors from the shape representation. We get an output occupancy for each point. The final shape can be reconstructed with an isosurface extraction algorithm.
Next, we are going to show some shape autoencoding results. Given a point cloud, the model is able to reconstruct shapes with detailed structures. We are going to show some selected generative results. The diffusion model requires several steps to generate a shape. The shape is generated gradually during the diffusion process. We can apply our model to several applications, including partial point cloud completion, text condition generation and single view reconstruction. Thank you for watching.